Thank you for joining me and Maria loves to talk. And what am I talking about? No, no, no. How are you guys and girls doing? Are you doing fine? Is everything working great? Are you still at your job? Are you thinking about quitting your job? Are you working from your home? Are you thinking about going back into the office? I just saw something on TV talking about um, a lot of people who are working from home do not want to come in. They've gotten spoiled. Do not want to go back into the office, which I can't blame them. And then I saw something also talking about we're going to have a lot of people starting new businesses, um, women starting businesses, a lot of senior people starting businesses. Good. What am I talking about today, you guys? I have a whole bunch of stories line up back to back. I am talking about those little gremlins, the little criminals, the little pookies, the little creatures from the I don't know what that's out here causing havoc. They was causing havoc in 2023 and they brought it back 2024. Okay, so you guys, our first one is coming from Colorado and this is NBC News. A Colorado po a police officer, again, Colorado police officer is arrested on charges of S.A. assaulting a teen. Dylan Miller, 28, he knows better. He's 28. He's grown. You know what, man? No excuse. You know right from wrong. You're not a baby. Was fired Monday as a patrol officer with the Loveland Police Department. Loveland Police Department. Former Loveland police officer accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl is due in court on Monday. Deputies arrested 28-year-old Dylan Miller on suspicion of kidnapping and unlawful sexual contact. Investigators say the girl came forward with her family, alleging Miller sexually assaulted her this summer. The blue bench in the Denver Metro serves uh, survivors of sexual violence. It is uncommon for them to work with teens. The center says it takes a lot of courage for somebody to report an assault to police. The weight is on the victim to then have to share their story. Um, and if, if they are interested in pursuing charges or legal action or accountability around that, they then have to share their story a bunch of times. Miller's bond is set at $300,000. Jail records show he has not posted bond to get it. A Loveland police officer was arrested in Fort Collins today. The second officer from that department arrested this week. Wilbert Howard is in the Larimer County Jail, accused of second-degree assault and child abuse from an incident that happened while he was off duty. Loveland PD says this has to do with something that happened at home in Fort Collins. Police found out about it a week ago. Howard had been with the department for 17 years. He's on administrative leave. And Loveland PD started an internal investigation. I, tell, I told you in the previous video, it seems like they join the force, not all of them, some of them. If they're not doing that, they're doing what that woman was doing down there in that little uh, town, uh, having, you know, with all these different other officers. And now she's saying uh, they groomed her. They preyed on her. Okay. People who victimize children deserve to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Yeah, and they need to be under the jailhouse. Don't have them out there on a little uh, monitor, a little ankle monitor, and they're out wandering around. Okay, so here they say anyone who uses their badge to do so is a disgrace to this prof profession and should be rooted out, Loveland Police Chief Tim Doran said during the news conference on Monday. Our investigator said Miller first met the 15-year-old female victim and other people during a July traffic stop. I don't know what that means, other people. Several days later, he allegedly contacted the victim and another person while at Loveland Park after hours, the Laramore County Sheriff said. Miller told the second person to leave. Oh, wow, really? And asked the victim to walk with him to a secluded area away from the street where the alleged SA occurred. So who was the other person? That other person shouldn't have left. Why, why did you go and then you leave her with this man, with this cop? And I'm trying not to be messy uh, how old is this little girl? 15. 
Y'all gonna get on me, but I keep it real. You, you not a baby. You, you not seven. You not twelve years old. You not two years old. You fifteen. The fifteen years old, they're they're not the fifteen year old from my mama's days back in the sixties and the fifties. From my great great grandma days from the twenties and the nineteen tens. These fifteen year olds. I remember one of my cousins said, and this has been a while, this has been like over 20 years ago, that she said a teenager told her, I'll kick your A. Uh, and I can do it like this, I can do it like that, and I can take your man. Yeah. No, again, like I said, kids getting out of a child's place, walking up, fronting a grown adult. Told my cousin, I'll kick your A. I can do it like this. I can put it on him like that. I'll take your man. Yeah, okay, so let, let's go on. Okay, I'm not gonna, oh, look, oh, that's this little guy saying, I ain't gonna tarry with this one too long. Miller told the second person to leave. Officials said the Loveland Police Department received a report about the alleged assault from the victim and her family in October. Okay. So all this happened in July, and y'all gonna come up in October, August, September, October, like three months. After conducting interviews and gathering digital evidence, investigators identified Miller as a suspect, according to the news release. And they're asking for more victims to, to come forward. Um, I want to know who the second person was. You, you can't stand up for your family member. You didn't say, hey. I'm not going anywhere. What do you want to do with my sister or with my cousin? You know that? And then, uh, again, children out and about, roaming freely like they grown-ass women and men of age. Yeah, I went there. And I really think uh, she's not the only person that he has done this to or he played with I think it's others maybe they might be too scared to come forward or let their mom or dad know uh, what happened it's, it's sad you guys when we cannot trust the men in blue I don't know what he wear if he's a blue or it's black but what can parents do you need to talk to your child you need to regularly talk to your child. When you see things on the news, crime stories, weird stories, that's the time to talk with your child. What would you do? What should have been done? How this can be avoided? Talk to your child. And also, big brother, big sister, you're supposed to put your life on the line for your sibling. No, you're not going to treat my little sister or my little brother any kind of way. I'm not... I'm not going to do that. I don't care who you are. You guys, I, I don't know what to say. Our next story, moving on. New York Post. Family, a woman arrested after taking baby, only wearing diaper to Walmart and freezing temperatures speaks out. Walmart, y'all need to give that employee her job back. She needs her job back because she spoke out. She spoke up. Okay. She has a child that passed. I, she didn't go into details why or what had happened. And I saw where a customer that was in one of those um, wheelchair-like scooters had got a, a jacket or something and had put on the baby. And then I saw another man walking around uh, engaging with that little silly mom who said that oh she buys her child all these clothes and 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 I saw where the father he looked like I don't know if they're the same age but he looked Indian or Hispanic or older guy I think they have a second child so now I'm, uh just dumb dumb stupid parents and technically for me she should not get her child back unless she go through two years worth of parenting, rigorous parenting training skills. Um, yes, she did go to jail. Yes, we did call the police. I mean, why wouldn't we? 
I wouldn't we? That's a crazy ass question to ask. When you see a child that's being neglected, don't have on any clothes, just a diaper. No shoes, no socks, no shirt, no nothing. So why wouldn't we call the fucking police? Why wouldn't we? And, you know, I'm just going to ignore the hate. And I'm going to ignore the crazy comments. I'm not going to respond to y'all. I'm just going to ignore y'all. She asked me, did I have a child in the video? Yes, I do have a child. He's deceased. But if my child was living, my ain't no way in hell my child would be out there with no clothes on. Just a diaper. So there you have it. That's your update. Boy here in the Metro loses her job for posting a video that has gone viral. Felicia Darling says when the child entered the Byram store last week during record-breaking cold temperatures wearing only a diaper, well, she had to do something. I spoke to her tonight, and she says she knew she had to do something quick. Felicia Darling said something to the mother, as did a male customer. Here's some of the interaction. He came in here with that jacket on. Yeah, he did. That baby just had a pimp on. Yeah, he got on. I can't. He's just an innocent soul. He didn't ask to be here. So I took action and I started recording her. Then it's in the video. She got cold food on the baby. Yeah, don't do that. And he said and just looked down. Somebody called police on her. It in a riding shopping cart purchases an outfit for the boy and dresses him while the mother flips through her phone. After the lady in the riding cart put the um, outfit on the baby, she walks out of Walmart and started walking to our car. Was walking to our car, a cop was walking behind her and um, they arrested her and they took, they took the baby. They took the baby and CPS was called. 26-year-old Cambria Darby was arrested and charged with child neglect. Child Protective Services released the child to a family member. Byram police say Darby has bonded out. We reached out to Walmart after Darling was fired. This is their statement in full. Quote, we share the concern others have for the child in the video in our store in Jackson, Mississippi. We don't discuss personnel matters involving current or former associates. All associates are encouraged and empowered to use their judgment in contacting authorities when they see something that may be wrong. However, all associates are also expected to follow the Walmart Code of Conduct. End quote. And if I feel like I did the right thing... A family of a Mississippi woman arrested for child abuse after taking her toddler shopping at Walmart with only a diaper on during freezing temperatures says she is a good mom. Are we tired? Are we, are we tired of hearing that, you guys? Aren't we tired? Are, are you tired? Because I am. Because these same parents 
mama, daddy, sister, they're the ones that see these kids being abused, being molested, being neglected. They don't say nothing. They don't do anything. They look the other way. Don't, don't get me started on my days when I worked at the food stamp office and I would have people call me or they'll transfer a call and say, this person is in your case so this person, you know, want to report this. And yes, y'all mother-in-laws, your ex-mother-in-laws, your sister-in-laws, your ex-sister-in-laws, they'd be the main one telling on you when y'all have a falling on and they want to tell all the juicy stuff. And they'll say, or like in this case, uh, my mom will come forward and say, well, uh, I don't know where she's at, but she won't give me the food stamp card. And I've been having the kids for almost a year. Well, why didn't you say anything? Why why didn't, haven't you said, oh, well, um, I didn't say anything because uh, she would give me some or she would give it, give it to me sometime. But I don't know where she at. And, and or in some cases, they'll say, well, she just flat out refused that she's not going to give me anything. So that's why I want to report her. I want to tell on her. You guys, let's get on with the story. Cambria with a K, Gabriel Darby, 26, was charged with child neglect after police received a call to the store around 10.30 a.m. on January the 17th and found the mother in the parking lot, according to WJTV. I still don't know why Walmart let that girl go. That woman who reported this. Darby's confrontation and the rant inside the store went viral after the video was posted by a Walmart employee. Oh, maybe that's why. Walmart really strict, you guys. Uh, but Darby's great aunt, Marie Darby Pickens, 69, who lives in Jackson, Mississippi, where Cambria and many of her relatives reside, says she had never seen evidence of Cambria being a bad mother. She also says she is not using drugs. Okay. Okay, so here that says, uh, everything I've seen with her and the kids has been positive. Pickens, a retired social worker. Wow, Granny is a social worker, you guys. Uh, the according to the post, I don't condone what was done, and it and it was right to be reported. But we don't know both sides of the story. Gr Grandma, Granny, where you at, Miss Social Worker? I thought. We do know both sides. We saw the, the Walmart worker. Thank you, Walmart. Mom, at that point, should have said, man, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. Let, let me take my coat. Let me take my jacket. Let me go and buy a, 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 a something quick and put on my child. All we kept hearing is how she got all these clothes and how her children don't wear the same thing twice. And she uh, shaked her butt, put her butt up in these people's faces and stuff. All this and, uh, twerking and all that. Okay, so here she says, sometimes kids can be difficult not wanting to put their clothes on or taking them off, and maybe she was in a rush to pick up some things. This is, a, I'm not saying there are underlying mental health issues in her case, but you need to find out her story. What she did, sh what she did show poor judgment, certainly, and it's very unfortunate because one incident like this can ruin a life. Cambria mother Lakeisha Darby hung up on a post reporter who heard the sound of young kids in the background. So her mama got the kids. Where the man at? Where her 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 uh daddy? Where the Indian man that she was uh showing and off of the the uh Facebook Instagram posting? You know, like they you know couple goals uh Beyonce and Jay Z. She was let out on bond conditions ordered by the Hines County Youth Court, according to WLBT. So she out free willy, free nearly, basically. After she was released from jail, Darby took to social media and defended her actions the way she parented her children. You didn't help with a thing. You actually made Hey, y'all. Um, so I am the girl inside the video. Certain things that I did just want to say. First of all, you wasn't helping with a thing. You didn't help with a thing. You actually made stuff worse. First of all, you have a child that's dead. Rest in peace to your baby. I, I pray that God can 
have you with more kids, which I'm, I'm sure he will. He'll definitely bless you with more children. Um, but so as a mother, you should know what it feels like to have some have your kids away from you, have your children taken away from you. So right now, um, I lost ten pounds currently because my kids are gone for me. I haven't seen my kids. Um, I I see them now under super restrict. Restrict certain restrictions, but like my son, he doesn't understand why. Like he need therapy now. He can't understand why I'm gone. Like in the public, it's too much going on in the public right now. We can't. I can't even take him to Chuck E. Cheese under supervision if I wanted to anywhere because people I'm getting like har harassments and things like that. So um that's what's going on with that situation I, I really feel bad for my baby i play with my ear when i'm thinking about a lot of stuff and he every time i see him he's like doing the same you know he is mama's child he does the same thing and i'm like baby like it's gonna be all right you know and stuff like that like i just really can't explain to him for, for real for real he's only 40 years old so that's with that um i know a lot of y'all want to know that baby must be living in horrible living conditions. Horrible. If he's treated like that here, I wonder how he's treated at home. This is a period, a period time, a decimal of what? That's 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 nothing. That's like baby stuff. That's like nothing. I'm talking private VIP to see Disney, VIP to see Blippi. They met this man. They met um. Who else they need? They, they do well. We do a lot. Of, I do a lot of different activities with my kids. And do water parks. I do arts and crafts with my kids. I don't give my kids melatonin. You know, I'm not saying I'm against the people that do, but I don't do that. You know, I do everything. I read my kids books. Um, let them run around. I let my kids do a lot. I do a lot. Of Every holiday, I decorate for them. Um, it's like, as y'all can see, it's decorated in here now. Which it was decorated before they they even left. So like, yeah. Um, my kids believe in Cupid. Everything else, like I stated before in my Facebook post, which I I'm gonna put my page back up, but I just kind of got off there for a little bit. Um, so it's nothing how y'all try to say horrible living conditions. Never that. Never, never, ever, 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 never that. So um, that's that about that. My biggest thing right now, though, um, is the false allegations that's out there about me. Not a bad mama, never been a bad mama. It's, I, my main thing, really, honestly, is just I, I miss my kids. Like I said, I don't miss, lost 10 pounds already. Um, I couldn't really eat. Like, I, like, like I'm chewing gum now. I do stuff like that. My baby, he misses, he misses me. And my biggest thing right now, I'm going to make a go for me for gas because I'm under um, I don't really want to talk about the case too much but I'm, I can't see my kids under like strict restrictions I want to do raise money for gas for that to make sure I can see my babies and for indoor activities because right now we're not even in a safe space to even go to places we can't even go nowhere publicly like you really ruined a lot of stuff ma'am like for real but if it was actually done from the goodness of your heart, you know, the Bible says that you want to do stuff, you know, those who, when you do good deeds, you give to the needy, blah, 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 I'm not needy, by the way, but you give to the needy, you don't do it, you know, like, hey, look at me, look at me, like how the um, hypocrites would do, you actually, you know, you do it in private, go back and forth for anybody, we're not doing that, we're not going back and forth for people, online, vengeance, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. His wrath cannot compare. You know? So, and nobody needs to question God neither. Like, why is he giving this girl money? The girl that posted the video money. We don't need to question him either because we can't tell him how to move his hand. He says that. You know, I swear, we can't tell him how to move his hand. He's gonna do what he's gonna do, and he's gonna do what he's gonna do for me too. And I know it's the outcome. I will push through this like the lady was pushing through the crowd to just to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And her faith, because of her faith, what she wanted, it was done. So I'm gonna push through. <laughs> I'm gonna push through this.
I'm still smiling. You should stay out for social media, hon. We we didn't seen enough of you. The, the only way I could have seen her being on social media was to apologize, to fess up and say I was wrong. I was having a bad day. I was I didn't take my meds. I didn't take my Zan, Xanax. I didn't take my Ambien. Or, you know, I'm sorry to the Walmart worker. Thank you for for your help. Darby compared her treatment inside the Walmart last week to Jesus. Get out of here. Get out of here, girl. Darby compared her treatment inside the Walmart last week to Jesus. They did Jesus the same way. He fell sick to his stomach as well. He didn't want to go through it. What, how is the saying? What does that say? Something about the elevator, but nobody's home, a cuckoo, or is something missing? Or as they used to say in the old days, a brain is a terrible thing to waste. Y'all need to stay away from that bad weed or that bad crack. If you're going to do it, get the real thing. God forgive me for saying that. Scratch that out. Um, ding dong, nobody's home. The girl... It's not all there. And that's what the problem is. We got a lot of young people, young moms who are raising the next future, the next generation. And that's why we got stuff running the muck right now. And then the oldest people sitting back, defending them, defending wrong, will defend their adult child over the little baby taken up for the adult child that's obviously is is don't have it all here prayers go out prayers go to out to the uh, walmart lady that she get her job based on her uh a business or nonprofit uh defending and protecting children because i think that's her calling because that this whole thing makes no freaking sense i have worked at sam's club part-time little hustle for 10 years i'm not there anymore and I can remember, I was still mad and ticked off. I've seen people that was caught in the rain run into the store. That's why I'm particular about when I, what I buy and where I buy from, too. Yeah, y'all didn't hear me say that. And the dude had grabbed one of them big old beach towels and wrapped himself up, walked to the store. And we were looking like, what? Took it off, threw it, almost by one of the other ladies. And that's when it dawned on us, this dude took one of the towels, the bath towels, off the rack, and he covered himself, wiping himself down. Are they going to try to sell that? <laughs> Y'all got to go. Sell that towel that that guy done wiped himself down, dried himself off because he got caught in the rain coming in the store. Where the man at? Where your zaddy at that you were showing off? The, the, the zaddy with the good head, the good straight wavy curly hair at. You guys, I feel sorry for them poor kids coming up these days. I, I do.